first off, take a look inside here. Ooh. That's normal. Um, just over the over the years, you know, stuff is going to fall down in here. Now, here's what happens if we don't clean that out. That that fine layer of fuzz that accumulates in there. Um, I can get the radio for you. Okay, if over over time that stuff's going to fall in there just through the cover plate. And and also when you have a rag and you're polishing. The, the guitar, mm -hmm. it this is like a cheese grater. It'll it'll just oh. shave little. So this is going to build up with fuzz and and dirt over time. If we don't clean that out at least once a year, that fine layer of fuzz is is actually dampening your resonator. Oh. So over time, your guitar is getting a little softer and a little less volume, and you don't notice it because it's very subtle. So what I what I'd like to do is just clean this whole thing up. I mean, you haven't had it in here in what years, right? Ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I, I I didn't I didn't know you were supposed to. Yeah. No, that's fine. We're we're gonna I'm gonna clean it up for you, and it'll it'll have a little extra sparkle on top of it after we get it cleaned up, because it'll uh, it'll really make a big difference with the uh, just getting that dirt off the resonator. Already fixed the tuning machine. You had one tuning machine that uh, the little bushing in it was worn out, oh. and it was up here on the G-string. I don't know if you ever noticed if you had any problems with that staying in tune or not. No. But that was worn out, so I, I fixed that. I replaced it, and I, I buffed out that side and got oh. I got just about every bit of that paint off of there. That's what it was. Paint. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I buffed. I went over the whole guitar. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the notches in the bridge and the nut, put new strings on, clean it up. We'll be ready to go in about ten minutes. Oh, okay. All Thank right. you. Uh, you None of this stuff is anything I should try myself. Um, you could you could clean it out yourself. Uh -huh. You know, one thing that you can do is uh, buy one of those little cans of compressed air that you would get you would find at like a uh, a camera shop, right. and just stick it down in the cover plate and blow this out ever so often. Oh, okay. That That's an easy fix. But the things with adjusting the um, maintenance, like adjusting the bridge and the nut, it'd be better just to bring it here. Yeah. yeah. But definitely, you, there's nothing wrong with taking it apart, cleaning the cone. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Although it's kind of reluctant to uh, when that one out. Because I knew something seriously wrong about the look. But I've never taken a cover off of the beer. I don't want to do something that I can't undo. Right. So, but it's, it's okay. Yeah. 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 You're not going to hurt anything. But uh, this one also has a pickup in it that's attached to the to the resonator, and that is kind of a delicate. Uh, that has a delicate adjustment to it. So if you are uh, probably since it has the pickup the best thing to do would be bring it here once a, once a year but definitely invest in a can of that compressed air and blow it out. Oh, okay. Yeah that's a good idea. All right. Okay here's what we did. Cleaned it all up, rejuvenated the fretboard, had to re-notch the uh, bridges because that's normal wear and tear in the nut. Repaired that tuner, cleaned the cone up, re-leveled the spider. Um, basically, just reset the guitar up after uh, several years, you know. So, I'm but, sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to try this. Only because it's pretty. Because <laughs> normally, uh, this is really too. This is a medium, but th that makes it shorter. It might.
in I, I, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. 